and it picks up good yards. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. That's a timeout call. Second down now. Another handoff, running to the right. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. It's third down coming up. Three-step drop. Going to take off with it. Looks to his left. That ball was in his hands. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Split backfield here from the gun. Escaping the pressure, the throw to the left. Easy catch there, no one near him. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. First and 10, Jackson's handed the football. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Coming up, second down. Right back to him one more time. Bad play call that time by the defense, Jim. You know, they, they can't give up the first down. They make a safe call, and they let the offense get the first down that probably seals the game. First down here after the run. What a drive this has been. Takes an eight. Play after play after play here on this drive. This was a good game to watch today. Competitive all the way to the end. Well, week one is in the books, and one side is now 1-0. Yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, all training camp, preseason football, and everything you work for, you come out, you get rewarded, you win the game, Jim. You're 1-0. Everything looks great. Ah, today's game, it must be fun to be a wide receiver. You know, you get to run down the field. The defenders can't hit you until you catch it, get your feet on the ground. But the play of today's game, nice reception by the wide receiver.
at the Georgia Dome for this week two NFC matchup between the St. Louis Rams and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. And Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game. And when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. All right, so let's head down to the field now. As it looks like kickoff is moments away. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Sam Bradford today at quarterback, stepping onto the field today for the first time. Sam Bradford, when he came out of Oklahoma, I thought he was one of the purest throwers I've ever watched in college football. Give him protection, he can still get it done. First down here. The give to the running back. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Here's a look at how the Rams offense. Last week, the rushing totals were just okay. Over 100 yards. Second and 12. Bradford's got the football after the play fake. That ball is picked off. They got him down there. And Davis is marching onto the field now. He finished up last week with a quarterback rating of about 80. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. First and 10, Steven Jackson gets it here. They bring him to the turf. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. And as always, the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Order now at papajohns.com. On the run, looking for an open receiver on the right. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. And now here's the Rams defense. This is a ball hawking unit that a week ago came up with four takeaways. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. He wants to go deep. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. First and 10, and Richardson's taking the handoff. That's a gain of eight. And here's the Falcons defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Second and short, following the run. And Richardson's got it on the handoff. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Third down snap coming up. This was their bugaboo a week ago, failing to convert time and time again. Third and two. And they sack him on third down. And they force the quick three and out. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle's just got to do a better job. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Jones is a receiver in the slot. First and 10, here's the running play. Off tackle, breaks free, gains nine. Well, that was a nice run that time, off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? 
What a run by Jackson. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. First and 10. In trouble now. Eyeing that left side. And he was wide open. Well, the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. Middle. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. After running it, it's second down. Davis, play action. Trying to work that left side. The pack was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. Holds them to seven. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Here Offense go. lines up here. On second and three, running back gets it on the handoff. Six in the books. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The point after is good. The Rams are ready to return the kick. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. They come to the line, and it's first down. And Richardson's going to take the handoff now. Tackles made. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Falcons team official. Steven Jackson's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. So if the team absolutely needed him back, he would play, guys. But as things stand right now, they're going to hold him out as a precaution. Under fire on that throw. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third and eight. Going deep. Interception. Bringing the play to an end. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. Trying to find an opening to the right. Picks up nine. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over-pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Tony Gonzalez with the ball. Quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. 
Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Davis is going to take it from the gun. Gets away from the pressure. Looking long to Julio Jones. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Just a quick drop back getting away from the pressure. Breaks free, has some space to work with. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. They face first down. Davis got it in the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Down to the 15. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Now first and 10. Escaping the pressure. He's taken down. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? The defense comes out in the nickel. He's scrambling now. Tony, touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. He'll take a knee in the end zone. Sam Bradford will be under center. Tight end in motion. First down and 10. And Richardson's going to secure the handoff. That leads us to second down. To the ground here. Out to the 23. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. The Falcons in kick return formation. right at about the 28-yard line. And Gonzalez has moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Gets away from the pressure. He's into the open. Gains 19. That time they got great pressure on the quarterback. He stood in the pocket as long as he could. But once he broke outside, still looking down the field, trying to get that big pass go. play, it's not there. He takes off, and what a nice game running the football. Tony Gonzalez with the haul. Falcons get a first down. You got to know when you're playing against a quarterback who can run, you got to have some discipline. They did not on the defensive side. They blitzed. They didn't stay in their lanes, and the quarterback saw the open spot and picked up some big yards. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The Rams come out in the nickel. Second down and 12. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Running play went for 11. Nobody cares. Just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw it short to the running back and look at those extra yards after the short pass. Heading to the line for a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week, converting in these situations. 
even though the defense knows you're probably going to run the football, Ohio! it's third Ohio! and short. If you run hard, all you need is a little bit of a lane. We see it there, able to get the first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gains 18. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up Ohio, another first down, Ohio. and they got a good drive going here. That reception gave them the first down. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered and they give up the running touchdown. The Rams will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21 to zero. That's a touchback. <laughs> the defense comes out of the nickel. First and 10. Scanning the field. They're going to get him this time. Well, if your offensive line is not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Throws to the right. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let Let's you go. know as soon as we find out. First and ten. And Richardson's handed the football. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. And Richardson's in the backfield. Single back set. Second and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. Got to make that play. You don't see it often in today's game. These clubs, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody can catch it. I don't know how he drops it. This is third down. And he's going to be brought down. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league, where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. One last play before the quarter ends. Jackson. Gain of seven. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. They're able to move the chains after that last run, and that's a two-yard gain. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short gain, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Second and eight. Play action. Trying to make something happen. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Third and eight. Running away from the pressure. Roddy White makes the reception. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws Let's it down run. the field Let's for run. another completion. The give picks up only two. On the line. On the line. 
in this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. White's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and eight, staying on the ground. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's gonna be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody win. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First down here after the completion. Going to lose yards here. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Offense lines up here. Quarterback drops back, play action. Looking to scramble. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Falcons official. Steven Jackson's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. before he's taken down. The Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Screen play is on. Complete. He's brought down. Second and one. Looking for an open receiver on the right. He's brought to a halt. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. Very nearly intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Bailey's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. Working that left side, can't hold on. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Third and 10, he's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down, because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Touchback as the ball will be spotted at the 20. It's a two tight end formation. First and ten. Steven Jackson gets it here. And here he goes. Nice piece of running by Steven Jackson. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job. And they are making it happen in the running game today. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's brought to the ground. Hey, 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 hey. 
Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. This game is about to finish. This game's come to an end. Well, they came in off a win, and they get another one here today. Hey, two weeks in a row, Jim. You play good football. You win. That's a lot of positive reinforcement. You feel good about what you're doing, and there's no way you think you'll lose the following week. Beautiful throw that time by the quarterback. That's why we're calling it the play of the game. It's just right on target. You get open, he'll put it on the money. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.